Hi kids, welcome back. My name is Sunshine and I'm a part-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari. And I like to film my haul videos and my profit picks videos so you can see what I'm picking up and what it's selling for. So I've been sourcing over the past week and I have a few items to share with you guys. These are items from various thrift stores and they range anywhere from $2 on up to, I think the highest price I paid was 13 for a pair of shoes, but we'll get to that. So let's dive right in. First thing I want to show you are these Ariat wedge sandals. They have the horseshoe on the top. They have the studs. And then they have like a suede insole, a little bit of padding in really good condition. And she only charged me $5 for these. And I'm hoping, Ariat sandals really don't bring that much, but because these have the horseshoe and the studs, I'm hoping they'll bring at least 40, but we'll just have to wait and see. So then I found a pair of True Religion jeans. These are called the skinny. Well, that doesn't tell me anything. They're called something. They're in a size 29. I think they're called the boot skinny. I can't remember now, but anyway. So they are in really good condition. Of course, they're low rise. They have the whiskering. Oh, these aren't boot cut. Skinny, low rise skinny must be what they're called. So then they have the horseshoe back flap pockets. And I didn't see any wear or damage on them. So hopefully those will bring at least 30. I haven't sold True Religion in a while, so I'm not really sure what they're going for. Then I found these. Now, of course, I had to look at them because they're purple. And come to find out, they are Converse All-Stars. They did not look like this when I picked them up. They were practically black. But they cleaned up really nicely. And what's cool about these is it's like, I think it's called a two-layer. So you can fold down that outer layer and then there's some glitter right there. And these aren't canvas. These are more like polyester, like water resistant or something. I don't know. But like I said, they cleaned up really nicely and hopefully those will bring 35 to 40. I haven't really looked up comps on them yet. So then I found an Athleta piece, which I don't know why I picked this up. I still have one sitting in my closet. Oh, I know why I picked it up. Because it's purple and it actually has the bra size in it. So it's a 40 BC. And it is a purple cami workout top. And it's got removable pads and it has the shirring in the front. Really slimming but it also means it's compression and very fitted. So then it has the bra strap closure in the back. Really good condition. Hopefully, I don't know, the other one's sitting. So hopefully around 25, 27 for that. Then I found, let me see if I can say this right. I've been practicing all week. Alegria, alegria. Okay, alegria sandals and these are the I promptly forgot in a size 40 so they are metallic leather uppers they have a little bit of leaf embellishments and then underneath both of these is a hook and loop closure and then there's also a hook and loop closure right here so you can fit them all the way around they have padded insoles and they're in really good condition. Alegria. Let's all say that together. Alegria. <laughs> okay, so hopefully 40, 45 of those. Then I found this. Look at this little cutie. Now I found a bobblehead of this same guy that I have listed in my store with no intention on whatsoever. 
and I picked it up. I was going to give it to the mailman for Christmas, but then I decided to list it. So what's funny is I found this one in another thrift store. And doesn't he look so cute? He looks just like our mailman, except this one has red hair and our mailman doesn't have red hair. But that's okay. So he's going to get this little cute plush for Christmas instead. So then I found, I haven't found these in I don't know how long, some Vionics. It says First Ray Technology, whatever the heck that is. And these are the, like I can't even see, 335 Tourney in a size 8 in really good condition. Of course, they didn't look like this when I got them. They were black. And the last pair of Vionics I picked up, I think, sold for 40 So hopefully they're still going for around that. But I don't know. I like that cute little watercolor print. And we'll just have to wait and see. You'll have to tune into my Profit Picks video to find out what it sells for. So then I went to a little honey hole of mine. And they were having a 50% off everything sale. And I spotted this. So it's Vineyard Vines in a size 4. It is this white sheath dress with all this embroidery on it. So it's got the embroidery around the scoop neck and at the hem. And then it has a back zipper. And it's also lined. I'm pretty sure this is linen. 100% linen. Oh no, actually it's a linen blend. So it's cotton and linen. <laughs> my cat's trying to get my bag. So, I don't know. Hopefully at least $40 for that. Okay. And then I found some more linen, it feels like. Oh yeah, okay, so I found two of these together. They're hot cotton in a size large, and they are 100% linen. So I found this sage green pair, and it's not really an elastic waist, it's just a tie waist, but they're high rise, they're wide leg, cropped length, in really good condition. So hopefully those will bring at least 30. I shouldn't say those. I haven't showed you the pink pair yet. So I found the same thing in pink. I was thinking about lotting them up together, but no, because people may only want one. They may not like a color. So I'll be listing those separate. And we'll have to wait and see what they bring. Then I found another pair of shoes. I have not found Hoka in, I don't know how long. So I found a pair of Hoka One Oni Clifton's and these are in a men's size nine. They cleaned up really good. Of course the soles still have some discoloration, but not a lot of wear, so. I, like I said, the last, I, it's been probably a year and I think I sold those for close to a hundred, but I'm sure they're not going for that now, but hopefully those will bring at least 60, but we'll have to wait and see. I better save this for last because it's going to make noise. It's going to make noise. So then I found a pair of cabby jeans. These are called the Kick It Crops in a size four. And I actually think these are mid-rise. They might even be low-rise. But they have the raw fringe hem, straight leg, really good condition. So hopefully those will bring around 27. Then I found, and I don't think this is linen. I thought it was linen when I picked it up. Let me see. And I don't even know how to say that name. 
Oh, actually, it's 95% linen. Let me see if I can show you this tag. If you guys know what that says, will you leave a comment and tell me what it is? Because I can't even decipher it. I don't even know. But underneath it, it's like, um, maybe it's chalet. I don't know. Anyway, it's in a size extra small. It's this cute linen scoop neck. And those circles are embroidered. And it's an A-line swing shape. If it would fit me, I would definitely keep it. But this one actually runs true to size. So it's for an extra small. Hopefully that'll bring at least 25. Then I found some Patagonia. And I'm not sure what this is called, but it's Patagonia in a size large. And it's got the fleece lining and the quarter zip, long sleeves. This feels really nice, really warm, cozy. It's got the zippered pocket on the sleeve for when you're out running. So I don't know what those are going for. Hopefully 30 or more. That would be nice. Okay, oh, I forgot I found this until I just touched it. Oh, I have never found this brand in the wild before. It's been on my bucket list and now I can cross it off. Let me see if I can get it together. Yes, I found Johnny Was, finally. In an extra small and it runs true to size. I'm so upset. I would so keep this. And it's not your bold colors but it still has all that embroidery. And then it has the three, four sleeves with some crochet trim. Got some lattice work. The back is just beautiful. Look at how amazing that is. And then the crochet hem. I was so jazzed to find this. I could not believe I found Johnny Was where I live. Now if I could find it in my size, I'd be in the deal. Okay, so then I found some cashmere. And this is I Privé. And uh, there's no size in it, but I think I measured it out to small. So it's a mock neck. This actually looks kind of sage too which is supposedly the color for the season. So it's long sleeve mock neck. It's got a little bit of pilling, not much. And I've heard of Privé or however you say it, but I'm not sure what it's going for, but hopefully at least 30 for that. Then I found these boots are made for walking. Nancy Sinatra. It's got my little uh, blow up thing in it. So it's got fringe, they're white leather, and surprisingly, they're dingo. And I found these at the same place I found the last pair of dingoes, which were the black slouchy ones. So these are vintage, I looked them up, and at first I couldn't find a size. I looked everywhere and could not find a size for them because the size, and I didn't know until later, is way on in here in the tapestry because I was going to say they were an eight but they're not they're a six and they're tagged a six medium but they're not they're narrow so yeah small size narrow I don't know I paid ten dollars for these which is outrageous for me so hopefully they'll bring at least 30. <laughs> So cute. They so remind me of that song. Okay, then I found. Ooh, this feels nice too. Okay, so I found some Anthro Fig and Flower in a Petite XL. The last time I found this brand, it sold fast for like $27. But this one's more amazing. This one has the button front and all this beautiful embroidery. So it's like three-fourth bell sleeve. And it's new without tags. It has a tag on it, just not the price tag. 
and it says you can either wear it tied up or wear it down. So it's got like the shirt tail hem where you can tie it in the front if you want or wear it down. So since that other one went for 27, I'm hopefully hoping this one will go for at least 35. Okay, now I saved this for last because it's gonna make noise. So I saw this and thought, oh, it's a Christmas book. No. So I opened it up <gasps> and I ran into the wall. So it's a music box and those figures move. Well, let's try it again. It plays Silent Night. See the figures moving? That is so awesome. And it's in really good condition. So hopefully 25, I don't know. So anyway, kids, that's it for my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And I'll see you on the next one.